Today, the Social Security Administration told nearly 65 million retirees they will not be getting a raise next year because inflation is too low to trigger one. And the bad news gets worse. Unless Congress acts, many of the 55 million on Medicare could see premiums rise as much as 50 percent, with higher deductibles as well. Here's Major Garrett. The increase in out-of-pocket Medicare costs would affect doctor visits, surgery, medical tests, and supplies such as walkers or wheelchairs. Currently, the monthly premium is $104. It could rise to $159. Eight million could face these higher costs. About a million are federal retirees. Jessica Clement of the National Active and Retired Federal Employees Association. $55 a month makes a big, big difference to individuals living on a fixed income. Here's the problem. Health care costs are rising fast. By law, 70% of people on Medicare are protected from higher premiums if they don't get a Social Security cost of living raise. That's what's going to happen next year, which leaves only 30% of Medicare patients to absorb all the higher health care costs. That 30% includes the wealthy, seniors who recently signed up for Medicare, and federal employees. Congress can reverse the cost increase due to start January 1st, something the White House supports. There does seem to be bipartisan support in Congress for preventing this. How you do that, if you have to offset those costs, however, could complicate this issue. Preventing these Medicare premium increases is now part of secret budget talks between the White House and congressional Republicans. Scott, that means seniors could be caught in the middle of an upcoming fight to avoid a government shutdown and increase defense and domestic spending. You would imagine they'd figure out how to make a deal in an election year. Major Garrett at the White House for us. Major, thank you.